Okay, so this next task is about making a survey to see uh, what people's thoughts are around your uh, animal shelter project. So the task is here, survey task, you can open that. It uh, shows you, it's this first section. Uh, you've got to conduct a survey to find out what people think about animal shelters and it must include these questions. Now you're also going to want to include questions like um, the person's age and the person's sex, uh, the person's job, how much money they make, so, uh, and as a result how much disposable income they will have, so how much money they can donate to your animal, uh, animal shelter. So we'll leave those questions open. Um, the, it also says that you can choose whichever um, piece of software you th you think is appropriate. Now, if it was myself, I would use a Word to make the survey, and I would then use Excel to analyse the results. So, what we need to do is first of all, we need to have a look at. Um, there's a there's a link here to a guide, video guide, on how to make a survey. Uh, and I've put some videos on about how to include radio buttons, how to use online surveys, Google Docs, and how to use Survey Monkey. So there's three other ways of doing it there. But as I said, I'm just going to use a Word document. Um, so you can open a Word document. I'm using uh, a, an Apple Mac here, so yours will look slightly different, but it does the same thing. Um, we'll start with a title. I'm going to censor it, so... Animal Shelter Survey, I'll make that bigger so you can see it. And question one is, what is your age? Now, you've got a number of options here. You can either leave a blank box for uh, the, the respondent to fill in or you can give them some categories. I suggest giving them some categories but that will be easier then for you to analyse at a later point. Um, so we'll look at somebody who's, who's of a, an earning age, so 16 to 20. We'll look at 21 to 29. I'm just making these categories up, they can be whatever you want. So we're looking at 38, aren't we? Um, and then 39 to 47, 48 to 56, and then we'll do 56 and over. Okay, so I've got my options that they can choose from. Question number two, what is your sex? Are these people, are your respondents male or female? Um, men and women do, do give differently. Um, to charities, and there's some research uh, that supports that, which you can you can conduct, including your source table. Uh, if you want to know more information about that, please let me know. Um, what is your annual income? So this is where we're looking at the the types of jobs that your respondents are going to do. How much money are they going to be bringing in, uh, and how much of that income will then be disposable? So. We'll start with minimum wage, which will take people to £12,000, and we'll go up to £20,000. Again, the gaps can be however big you want. 20001 to 30000 And if you're just going to do gaps like that, then you can just copy and paste. It'll be quicker for you just to alter Okay, so once we've got our basic data, we've found out what types of questions we'll need to include, we'll, we'll, we'll want to include so we can get an, an overview of the types of people that are going to respond. We move on to these types of questions. So, would you sponsor an animal? Would be the next question. Question four Would you sponsor an animal? And the responses are going to be yes or no. And you work your way through this, those types of questions. Now it might be that when you're putting those, sorry, you work your way through those questions which are outlined in the task. Now it might well be that once you've written the question, you might think, actually, it would be interesting to have more information about that. Um, so, you know, if I'm running an animal shelter, not only do I want someone to be able to sponsor an animal, I'd like to know what types of animals they would sponsor and whether or not I house them at my shelter. So it might be, 
would you sponsor the following? Okay, give them some options. So, my animal shelter does horses and tortoises, so we'll start with those. Tortoises, yes or no? Horses, yes or no? Other popular animals with shelters are dogs and cats. And we'll have uh, goats as well, just to give us something different. Okay, so we've got our basis of our questions there. Once you've done that, save the work and you can upload that to this task here. We've got a copy of your surveys. Uh, and then your next task is to look at the results of those surveys. Now again, I've put your video on which shows how you can use Excel to look at analyzing data Hi, for questionnaires. Uh, and you can have a look at that video to see whether or not that's useful for you. Um, I'm going to be looking for you then to have an Excel document a blank spreadsheet now you've used spreadsheets before so you don't need me to set to spend any additional time explaining those and we're going to be literally taking the question from our survey which will be here and we're going to be looking at including our responses and so our responses here are the ages 16 to 20 16 to 20 21 to 29, 30 to 38, 39 to 47, 48 to 56, and 56 plus. Okay, now you should have for your homework over Easter, you should have completed this survey with, I said, up to 20 of your uh, friends, sorry, at least 20 of your um, friends and family so you should then have 20 responses so you can enter the number of responses that you've got in this group there okay and then you can start to express this data as graphs and if you want to um, look at how to do that look at the other video that I've just shown you and you'll be able to get some information on that okay good luck with the task don't forget to ask any questions if you need any help